cries of gold, gold, gold in the Klondike reverberated across the land, setting off a frantic rush that would become one of history's most legendary gold rushes. In 1896, Skookum Jim and his family stumbled upon gold near the Klondike River in Canada's Yukon Territory, igniting a feverish quest for fortune. This discovery not only triggered a massive migration, but also set the stage for one of the most dramatic and tumultuous periods in North American history, A.S. word of the Klondike gold spread. The world's eyes turned to this remote corner of the Yukon. The journey to the Klondike was no ordinary trek. Stampeders faced grueling choices, some opted for the expensive. Rich man's route, navigating through the Yukon River by boat, while others braved treacherous overland paths. The latter often faced a punishing ordeal as they navigated icy glaciers, steep mountain passes, and the unpredictable wilderness. The White Pass and Chilkoot trails emerged as the primary routes for the hopeful gold seekers. These poor man's routes were fraught with peril. The White Pass Trail, notorious for its rough terrain, saw countless pack. Animals perished under the strain, their remains scattered along Dead Horse Gulch. Meanwhile, the Chilkoot Trail presented its own challenges, with its steep slopes making the journey even more arduous as stampeders carried their supplies on their backs. Eye on the fall and winter of 1897-98, to towns like Skagway and Dai exploded in population, transforming from mere camps into bustling hubs of activity. Yet, this rapid growth came with its own set of problems. Skagway's streets were rife with crime, and the economic disparity was stark, with some making fortunes while others struggled to survive. A.S. The Rush Peak, Dawson City became the epicenter of the gold fever, named after Canadian. Geologist George Mercer Dawson, the city quickly swelled to a bustling metropolis with tens of thousands of people. The allure of gold drew miners, traders, and adventurers from across the globe, but the reality often fell short of expectations. The best claims were already staked, leaving many to find fortune in alternative ways or face the grim reality of their unfulfilled dreams. BY 1899, the discovery of gold in Nome, Alaska, led many to leave Dawson in search of new opportunities. The Klondike Gold Rush, once the great promise of the North, began to wind down, leaving behind ghost towns and a legacy of both triumph and tragedy. The impact of the gold rush was profound, reshaping the landscape of the Northwest and catalyzing the development of cities like Victoria, Vancouver, and Edmonton. It opened the door to the North, transforming it from a remote wilderness into a place of potential and opportunity. Dawson City, now shadow of its former self, remains a testament to this extraordinary chapter of history, its past echoing through restored cabins and annual celebrations that honor its storied past. The Klondike Gold Rush was more than a pursuit of wealth. It was a saga of human endurance, ambition, and the relentless quest for a better life, etched into the fabric of North American history.